It's early. I'm on my way back to the Habitat Restore to see if there's any more vintage jewelry to collect and resell. The last time I went, I found 33 pieces. I was looking for jewelry to put in my case in the Good Stuff Thrift Store and Collectibles Mall in Las Vegas, Nevada. And also I found treasure. I found things that were good enough to auction and the video went viral. I got over 30,000 views in the first few days. So now the question is, will it still be good? Now that everybody knows about it and so many people have seen that video, will there still be stuff there? So I'm going really early. I wanna be there when the door is open so that it's a good test. And also it will be a test of my skills, you know, to see if there's always gonna be, and a test of the store, to see if there is always gonna be good things there or if it will be picked over from now on or how good my skills are. So as usual, there will be a haul at the end to go over everything so you can see my process, what makes it to auction, what goes into the case, what might be in the Hudson Vintage Marketplace in a timed auction. There is a link to that below as well as links to what I find in the video below if there's something you're interested in buying. Also, you can text me at 917-809-7250 if you wanna check out the auctions, if there's something you wanna bid on, or if you're a reseller and you just wanna see what the hammer prices go for. So that's everything. We'll see how I do, stay with me. I have to admit, I'm excited to be here. I was so surprised by all the really good jewelry that was here last time and everybody loved it. Oh my goodness, look at this. This place is cool. All right. And again, not that busy. So that's where most of it was. That's where the antiques are, which I cannot stay away from, but I have to, have to, have to check the case first. Oh, that's a beautiful tree. Oh, look, Christmas. It's in June. Halloween. I like the ghost with the teddy bear. It's pretty cute. Okay, there's people looking. Okay, it looks different. This is new. That's a new setup. I love this. I'm going to make a pin out of that. Oh, look at the little cars. Wow. For $10. Oh. Okay, let's look at the jewelry, Dawn. Stay focused. Oh, those are Ray Ban clip ons. This is nice. Oh, I like this. What does it say? Let's check it. Okay, what it says is, it says Stella and Dot. There's, there's a little bit of wear on it, so I will leave this. I'm gonna, these are $3 each. These are, that actually feels like silver. It does feel like silver. I will check that. They're kind of fun. That feels like silver too. That definitely is missing a stone. Oh, Ooh, this is pretty. Let me check that. Oh, there's another one. Let me check that. These are good for giveaways, also, you know? So, all right, let me check these things out. I'm definitely getting the little doggy. What else is up here? 
Oh, these are nice. This cross fine writing in the box. I'm gonna see how much see how much that is. It's five dollars, so that's nice. That's that's a really good gifty thing. I love that. Look at that. I looked at all of these through the loop, and none of them are good. Um, so those are a pass. But out of the corner of my eye, I noticed. I've never seen such a small one, and it's a seal. I have a big one with the, the seagull on it. I forget who the artist is, but they're pretty well known. So, and then what is, okay, what did I miss? What is this? Oh no, is, what is it? Is that a little mouse? That is carved wood. I will in a second, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Little bird whistle. Yeah, we'll get that too. Those, those are cool. All right, let's see what's in here. Those are nice, those blue teardrops. That's sterling, but it's 29. Oh, I like that collar. We're gonna look at that collar. And let's see what else is down here. We'll look at that collar. Those blue teardrop earrings that say uh, yeah yeah and then the second one is the this collar in this box yeah and the pocket watch yeah thank you the pocket watch yes and then what else was it is this your stuff here no, um, I was supposed to put that back. I'll, I'll put oh, it back. Okay. Oh, this this collar down here in the corner. And then, can I see these earrings? Thank you. I'm seeing some good ones, like these right here are good. Was this in the case? No. It was out here? Yeah. Okay. Was this something you were looking at? No, it was just sitting there. Okay, so these I'll check. I like them. This is running. Oh, that's twenty dollars. Okay, so you can put that one back. And then this, I like the way this feels. This is cool. Interesting clasp. I'm gonna check that with the loop for a signature. And then this says. Do you want a loop? Oh, I have one. Okay. This, oh, this one says. Ruby Lane hinged choker vintage. Oh, it says twenty nine. Hmm, interesting. All right, I'm gonna check that one too. I like that one. I like these. You were were you interested in these? Um, yeah, I have to look at them with my eyes, oh, sure, though. No so problem. I just want to know. And these? No, those oh, were those were right. just there. These I recognize. I love these. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, those are nice. These are very nice. And then little um, dream catchers, little fiber optics. I like these. All right, we will check. These also. Okay. Oh, the little rubber thing. Okay. All right. So I'm going to look at all of this now. All of this. Okay. So the story so far here is my process. This is not as well made as it should be for $29 here. So that can go back. This has, um, this is interesting. Um, but I don't think it's unique enough, and the clasp is um, 
not really working too well right now. It's, uh, it would need a little tweaking, so we'll say no to that. These, I just wanted to check and see if they were silver because I like the shape. They are not. And these are sometimes falsely advertised. I believe falsely advertised as Oscar de la Renta, but those are rolls and they're scarabs. And I have always loved them anyway. So I will get those. And then these are nothing. So, um, so far out of the tray, we have this. <laughs> Does it happen to be here? And these beautiful, beautiful earrings. And now let's get to the back room. It's very difficult not to be distracted. They get really great things here. Look at that beautiful little table. Oh, that wing chair. That wing chair is calling me. Oh, what's this? Oh my gosh. Turning heads, turning heads. Oh, that's awesome. So, so beautiful. Oh, they don't see? That's nice. 119. Okay. All right. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Going straight to the jewelry. Almost there. Oh, cute little vanity. He made me this color so that I may talk. Squirrel! Just going to turn my head for one second. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Still so much here. This is... This is cool. This is very not good quality. It's an older clasp, but not good quality. At least I think I looked at last time, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at that again. Mardi Gras. Interesting clasp. I'm trying to look at clasps first. What's this hiding over here? A little nothing, not old enough. That's interesting. This little woven thing, look at that. This is, a, I've always liked these, these little festoons, um, but they don't have much resale appeal and um ooh, that's interesting and that's a cool shape this i love this feels good i've never seen anything like that before i don't know what it is i feel like it's vintage but i will find out i'll put it in the cart and then look at it. See now, look at this. This is an old clasp. It is missing some baguettes. This is an old clasp. Special. Okay. Let's keep going. Ooh. It's cool. Okay, that's on that. Okay. Little floating thing. Okay. This is the very worn one. That's nice, that's flat glass, but I feel like I can find those pretty regularly, and so therefore, so can you. Ooh, hoo, hoo. This is cool. All right, that. Let's get it off of there. Oh, I just saw this out of the corner of my eye. Hello. Okay. 
grab that O and then a change of spell. Okay. Okay, so we're going to put this one back. We're going to put that one back. That is Avon. This one we are definitely taking. I cannot read what it says, but it doesn't matter. It's super cool. Love the chain. And it's an enhancer. See, that is hinged. And this is the one that fell. And it's so pretty. It's so useful. Just as a pretty little chain. And it might be gold filled or something. So we'll get that. And let's keep looking. Look at the little horn. Okay. These go. Those go. Oh, I need a thing. Okay. Ooh. All right. I need to find um, I need to find something fast. So this is what I found. I can't read what it says, but it's pewter and it's got roses and hearts. So oh, in is that a pansy? I love that. Okay, so that'll work. Let's put these things on it. And I don't know where to go first. <laughs> Because I feel like I need to look at this, but then there's all these little things, and you never know. Okay, we'll look through here first. Okay, so I just did a quick scan of those, and there's really nothing there. So where is... Oh, napkin ring. I think it was looking clear to me, and I was confused by it. Okay, so let's look if there's anything hiding. No, very cheap. Ooh. Oh my gosh. That's good. This I looked at last time because it reminded me so much of a Scotta or whatever. But it's not. Okay. Someone's thing. Someone's project. All right, so, you know, this really looks like old Napier or something. I'll look at it closer, but for now, I'm just going to put it in the cart because, once again, I feel like i got to pick up the pace. I should not be doing this right now. Oh, the big baubles. Those are awesome. All right, we'll put those in. Ooh, that is a crafty lady. Craft supplies, that's to put your own picture in. That's kind of fun. All right, so we've actually done this. Did I miss this? No, no, I saw it. Okay. Oh, this. This is nice. This all uh, thermoset. Great condition. Five dollars for this set. Um, this is very collectible. I think it's listener. You will get that. Beautiful little espressos. Okay. Oh. Look at that. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, a little chippy there, but a very cool thing. So this opens all the way in there. This definitely looks like it has some age to it. Am I getting another jewelry box today? Look at the flowers. It's $9. Oops. All right, there's the telltale. 
and it says made in China okay okay this is what I was looking at this is the old kind of Renoir Matisse thing and I've never seen that shape before so I have to get that that's how you learn also little pearls these look real but they are not those are faux see the definite pattern the repeat pattern of the faux rice pearl this is vintage in nice condition so far yeah that looks good not new to get it today but that's a good pickup everybody this one it's like a sour cove. Oh, look at that coin. I'll pick that up. Sure. Copper leaf bag, not good condition. Some washers, some soda light. It is nice. Um, but we have that. We don't need that. This, no. I'm just checking weight here. This feels like stone, so we will check that. I'm just putting, just putting all of it in the tray, and I'm going to go over it later. Let's look up here. Nice quality one. Talbots at T. Is that a T for Talbot? Oh no, that's old Anne Klein. Oh yes, it is nice quality, you can tell. It, oh my god, look at this. Hello. Original Swarovski tag. If that is not a beautiful score. I don't know what is. Yellow. Always have yellow. This is pretty. This looks like vintage, but it's newer. This is cool. Uh, not very well made, but cool. Little rhinestone thing. This is um, very worn. See how it's looking dull? So it's a cool, it's a cool find, but it, it's good. this, this is gunmetal color, so kind of on the interesting side. Okay, so those weren't anything. This tie is fun. Yeah, see, look, they're just posts. They don't have hooks. So it's like designed to drop. This was cool at one time. These were a very 70s kind of fun thing. But um, it has seen better days. That feels like stone. Can you tell what kind of stone that is? Stay tuned until the end to find out what it is, how valuable it is, and what I'm asking for it. Look at that cool link. That is a cool link. Can I get it out? Oh, these are hooked. Okay. Yay, these are hooked. It's free. Oh, look at this. Great one with the elephant. Oh, yay. I love it. Okay. Okay, back over here. Got that. That's see how it doesn't like drape, right? That's a tell. What does it say? Oh, it's all together. Oh, that's different. Can't read it. Okay, we'll check it. We're gonna check all of these. So this is three dollars. Look at the old and Klein logo, and you can just see the quality. This is a no-brainer this is wonderful original tag for five dollars look at that color um, 
Yeah, little, little hanging swan, adjustable, great kind of Morganite color. This one also a no-brainer. This is marked RMN on the back of the hinge. That's an enhancer. See that? How great is that? Really, honestly. This is a no-brainer. This is beautiful blue goldstone. I mean, really beautiful. Um, this one is one that I had to think about um, because they are around, but I really do like the gunmetal color, um, and it's in really good condition. And I think the gunmetal makes it more rare. This carved elephant bone necklace from the 1970s is a no-brainer, no damage, beautiful, original, 70s or older, $3. This, I was very excited that I didn't put back because this is something that I've never seen before. I too am always learning. That's signed Monet. And this opens up so that it holds necklaces together. So someone put these in there. That's how it came in. But look at this. See that? It closes like that. Yeah. And it's large enough to hold large, large clasps. That is a super, super amazing find for me. I have learned something, and it's so cool. Also in there, that is a Monet clasp. See that? Fairly rare. So pretty cool. Ta-da. This is just $2, and I love it as a giveaway, and I think it's a gold-filled chain. This is definitely stone. And um, I checked the class and it is silver sterling sterling silver this one I just love um always looking for good coins now for pearls this I feel like is a real find this looks like the old Napier link charm bracelets that are very collectible and in books look it's like a magic lamp or something um Art glass cab. This I'm getting this is the one that fell on the floor. It might be gold filled. This is a dollar. So love the big baubles. I don't have that color. And then this also could not be happier. Look at the shape of that link. Quick browse through the linens. I am now realizing I have so many purses that I need to find nice pillowcases to act as sleepers to ship them in. I had these when I was a kid. The pink and the white. Also, these I think I had when I was in my teens. All right. <laughs> I'm just looking for pillowcases, not pillowcases. Okay, I think I'm going to find vintage pillowcases now, and it's going to be this whole new thing. Um, I love the stripes. Okay, I'll get those. Blue gingham. Blue gingham. That's so vintage. Okay, I'll get that. Oh, more stripe. More stripe, yay. This is a vintage. Ooh. I'm having too much fun with this. Okay, I'll get those. <laughs> and 
Gold is cool. Ooh, denim. Oh, faux denim. Okay. All right. This is good. Oh, how did I miss this? Oh, hooray. There's four of these. One, two, three, four. Okay. I, I really like them. I might have to keep them. This is, this is good for sending pillowcases. This is like bamboo. A dollar. They're a dollar. Pillowcases. One dollar. A nice piece of furniture. That is $99. Nice. Very nice. Oh, boy. $40 piece set, $24. Hmm. I love it so much. Okay. These are new. Look at this. this Hand-painted rabbit. Oh, my gosh. The bird. Look at this. $16, 24 pieces. Quick. Quick look at the ends here. Little sake cup. Ooh, mini dolls. Many, many, many dolls. And then there's a, a little uh, doll stroller thing. <laughs> what is that called? What is this called, everybody? I can't think of it right now. This is an old one. Let's put a doll in it. Oh, I know what I want to do. Much better. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's plastic and it's chipped. It fooled me. What is that? 1970. All right, I got to get a better look at that. Okay, so I looked at it because... Does this plate remind anybody else of Fornicetti? It really reminded me of Fornicetti, so I picked it up. So this plate is $3, and it says, Santa Clara Artist Signed. Limited edition, 8612 out of 10,000. There's the signature, 1970, no damage. And it's also really pretty. So I feel like I should rescue this before it gets damaged. And I'm going to do that. I like that. Oh, it's metal. I thought it was wicker. It's metal. Okay. Oh, look how fun that is. That's the real deal. Dollar section. That's new. I don't need any of it. <laughs> Dollar section. Well, there's a lot here. Let's let's do it. Let's go through. Sometimes there are things that I need that I can get. Oh, I remember that from. It's a nice little box. Missing a tassel, but the ring is still there. A sun catcher. Oh, this hangs 
from somewhere and holds incense. That's pretty cute. Ooh, green dog. This is kind of a fun little thing. I didn't know this was here. This is fun. What is this? Color tags for wine. Ooh. Uh, that's a Wedgwood heart. That's a cat card dollar. Real. Now I'm going to think it's for a ship. Lucite flower. I mean, Lucite heart. That's great. Super cheap. Oh, look at that. That's quite nice. I can use that to ship jewelry in. Sometimes I need something a little special. And now here's the start of the curated section. See, look, the old, old stuff. Is this more dollar? This looks like more dollar. Kind of incredible. <laughs> wow. Okay. Nice old box. Okay. All right, so this is the part of the store where I like everything I see. I love these. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. Lavender. A butterfly bush. Beautiful. Ooh, the old cake sand. Cake carrier. Cake keeper. Ooh, look at that. Cased. It's not uh, not as good as it looks. It's actually kind of new and lightweight. And, you know, this is an old, old base. I see some yellow cats. No, they're not cats. What is that? Oh my God, it's a boy and a girl chick. Oh. 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 Okay. They're coming with me. Oh, I love them so. Oh, I'm spending money here today. <laughs> hey, now, look at all of these inkwells. This is gorgeous. I would stand it, like, on its side and use it as display. Now we're going from the ambers into the greens. From the green into the blue. <sighs> Very nice. Ooh. Blue glass. Cool. Are those dragons? Is that a dragon? That's a dragon. Seven piece. Don't know enough about it. Don't know enough about it. Those guys. Oh, look at this shape. Oh, wow. That's heavy. That's $5. That's deco. Oh. I feel like I could do it. I feel like I could. I'm not going to. Let me know. Okay. It's time to let me know. And 
Maybe I'll run back for it if you tell me to. Now. Oh. This is a great box. This is hinged. Onyx. But, but, um, oh, hello. That's signed. That's signed. Okay, I'm not going to try and look at it now. I'm just going to get it. See the signature? Oh, gosh. Okay, very exciting. Very exciting. Very exciting. Look at that. Beautiful little dove. Okay. The little Swarovski golf clubs. And like a little miniature plant stand. Okay. Now. Does it say Onyx of Pakistan? This is a marvelous old dresser tray. Oh, yes, I have to get it. I have to. All right, my and clearly my scope is expanding. What else is in here? What is this? Okay, this is twenty five. <gasps> one of those Chinese horses. Oh, and it has its stand. Okay. Magnificent. There you go. Not getting it, but magnificent. And then what is this? That's pretty cool. Apple. <laughs> All right, and then down here. What is this? They're um, they're pottery. I don't know what, oh my God, there's another one. There's two. Oh, oh gosh, okay. These are awesome. So fancy. Ooh, what are you? Tenango, China. Oh, I used to have these. I remember when I bought them new. This fantastic jewelry box. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, that's still here. So this is like that um, Catalan. I'm going to get it for $5. It's an amazing shape. Beautiful. $29. That is super nice. Oh, and there's that wing chair. They moved it. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go check out. Stay with me. I will see you in the recap. Oh. Look at this. And 49. That's nice. That's nice. That's a nice old chair. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm going to go check out. Recap coming up. Some of these things are available in the YouTube shop underneath the video. And if you are in Canada, just text me and I will send you the button separately. There's no shipping internationally from the YouTube shop right now. Starting with this, this is the most tie-in thing I found. And I wasn't surprised when I researched it. Um, I knew that it was green onyx. I knew that it was expensive. 
and they are only available in Europe right now. They are not available in the United States, circa 1960, um, sometimes mislabeled as Italian. We know now that it is Pakistan because of the sticker, but this is a jewel, a green onyx carved box, and I paid under $10 for it. I'm asking $120. It's available underneath the video. Uh, right underneath the video, you can see the picture of it right under there if you are the first one there. It is first come, first serve with uh, the links under the video because everything is one of a kind. This one turned out to be Bakelite. And I didn't notice it had the tiny chip right there. I thought it was just part of the shape. But look at this patina. This is a marvelous, marvelous um, coloration here that, that um, happens to be light. And the hinge is perfect. Nice, solid close. Really like new on the inside. This also was an extremely great find. It's a larger one. It's not a smaller one. And I paid... I think $4 or $6 for this, and it's Bakelite, and I am asking $40, and that will be under the video as well. The little wooden mouse, I couldn't find anything about him. Um, here is a, what the signature says. Um, he little hand-carved, little lovely guy, and I paid $5 for him. I'm asking $20. The shakers could not find any on the internet. And I mean, it kills me. You know, little anthropomorphic, little sunbonnet, little cap, um, little singing chickadees. And they are um, Decora Ceramics California. And I paid six and I'm asking 25, also under the video. The John Perry Seal. Also couldn't find any of these, um, never saw one before. I've seen a lot of the seagulls and the other animals, never saw a seal. So was pretty excited about this one. I paid five, I'm asking 20, also under the video. This little bird in the hand, I am so glad I got. He is signed FM Ronneby, Sweden which stands for Fair Margolin of Ronneby, Sweden. And um, I found out when I was online, underneath his tail, at the very bottom, there is a very small chip, but it does not affect the shape of his tail at all. The shape of his tail is still intact. So, Still a beautiful piece of art glass, mid-century modern from Sweden. And he will be in the link under the video in the YouTube shop. I have $75 on him, which is very good in the comps for the size that he is and the condition that he is in. So this is my process, okay, for figuring out where jewelry goes. If it's really collector -y enough to be in an auction or valuable enough intrinsically or rare enough. Um, this is um, most likely unsigned listener. It looks like it never came out of the box. I paid $5 for it. Look how perfect it is. This is called Thermoset and you can really see how, how great it is. So this uh, we'll be going to the case in Nevada, all right? And the things from the videos go out into the case in Nevada in the Good Stuff Thrift Store um, every other Tuesday right now. It is pretty much every other Tuesday. So that I paid $5 for. I will be asking 30 at the case in Nevada. This American Woman Relief Council coin, I really wanted to keep this one, but you can't eat jewelry. Also the magnets, you can't eat jewelry are available below the video. And if you buy a magnet before July 28th, you will be entered for the giveaway. There's more info information on that below the video. This is testing as Onyx, Sterling class, nice graduated long one. That will be up for 
auction. This will be a regular timed auction, not a live auction. And that will be at the Hudson Vintage Marketplace. The link will be below the video. This one is adorable. Look at that hinge, so cool. This I paid $5 for. I will be asking 40 for it, and that will be for both pieces. Fantastic, great vintage. That will be in the case in the Good Stuff Thrift Store and Collectibles Mall in, on North Decatur in Las Vegas, Nevada in the Hudson Vintage case. This one is another one I really wanted to keep. This is so great. Look at this. This is vintage. It has um, the telltale older fold over clasp. Look, this is all two pieces when you see them together like that. This is stunning. This will be available. In, there's the clasp right there. This will be available in the Hudson Vintage Market. Link below the original tag Swarovski. Look at that color. You don't see this color every day. I was very excited. This, my friends, is a real treasure. This is an auction piece. This will be coming up at auction. I have auctions every Wednesday and Friday on YouTube. And if you would like a free alert for that, text me at 917-809-7250 and you will get free alerts when I go live with an auction or a sale or a pop-up. And also if you're a reseller and you would like to know what things, these things actually go for hammer price, then it's a good idea to watch as well. This is also going up for auction. Same thing, this is very rare and in perfect condition. So that will be coming up at an auction coming soon. It's one auction, two nights, Wednesdays and Fridays at 7 p.m. This I paid $2 for. It is actually vintage. Look how nice the construction is. All right, and that will be a giveaway at the auction. I do giveaways and door prizes. This is really beautiful gold stone and sterling. It's exceptionally beautiful gold stone, actually, and the construction is really high end. This is a beautiful necklace, very organic, one of a kind. This will be coming up at auction as well. Vintage 1940s copper. Look at that. So machine age and cool. That will be in the Good Stuff thrift store. I paid $5 for it. I will be asking 20 This will be a timed auction in the Hudson Vintage Market. And the link will be in the description below this video. The jewelry pieces that you see below the video, you can just click on uh, right away to buy, but this will be a link in the description to my very own marketplace. This, I believe, is Old Napier, and it is fabulous, and that will be a timed auction. I paid $5 for this, and I'm going to be starting it at 25 This is another one I really wanted to keep um, because I thought maybe one day I could copy it. It's a useful design. It's an old Monet sort of clasp keeper or converter, I'm imagining. They called it some kind of converter. Um, it opens in the back and it holds necklaces together and there's room for uh, larger clasps. And I'm gonna keep it as is. Whoever put this together, they are, it's a Monet necklace, at least one Monet necklace in there. And then I'm not sure what the other one is. It might be, it might not be. But I'm going to keep this amazing thing together. And this will be also in the case in Nevada. And this is a score. So really run, don't walk to that case on Tuesdays. Make sure you're the first one there if you want this. This I paid $5 for and I will be asking 40 Thank you so much for watching this entire video. If you've watched until this point, say jewel nut in the comments so I can acknowledge you. You can eat jewelry. It's the can eat jewelry tribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.